Hey, good morning. We are in our take five, and today as we continue through um, Paul's letters, we are in First uh, Thessalonians, we are in the second and third chapter. And as we read uh, chapter two and we dig into here, there's two things that really, uh, maybe two words or two themes that stand out to me uh, when we start reading uh, this uh, second chapter and something I just want to share with you. Um, what I see here is, in these first few verses, is the word faithfulness. Paul's talking to this young church, and he's talking about um, the reason that he came to share the gospel of hope. He says, For you yourselves know, brethren, that our coming to you is not in vain, but after we had already suffered and been mistreated in Philippi, as you know, we had the boldness in our God to speak to you the gospel of God amid much op opposition. We see faithfulness here that even though they were beaten, even though that they suffered in Philippi, we see their heart to be faithful to God in a time where they probably or I probably would have been like, all right, let me at least heal a little bit. Let me take a little R&R. Uh, &R, let me take a little vacation um, and rest up <laughs> from the suffering I just um, went through. You know, let me pray a little bit, maybe um, mope a little bit or whine a little bit. You know, I mean, Paul had just been um, beaten here. We, we read this in Acts, how they were mistreated in Philippi of his mistreatment there and when he was preaching um, to, the, to the believers and the non-believers there and how they were persecuted by the Jews. And then it says that even though they were persecuted, they continued to, to share the gospel. It says, For our exhortion does not come from error or impurity or by way of deceit, but just as we have been approved by God, to be entrusted with the gospel, so we speak, not as pleasing men, but God who examines our hearts. And we see that as the motive for Paul to share the gospel. And then we read that he not only um, was there to share the gospel, but to share his very life with them. We read that here as we continue down um, in verses 8 and 9, having so fond an affection for you, we were well pleased to impart to you not only the gospel of God, but also our own lives, because you have become so very dear to us. For you recall, brethren, our labor and hardship, how working night and day so that, not, so that as not to be a burden to any of you, we proclaim to you the gospel of God. And so we see that Paul, uh, through his faithfulness and his heart and his love for God, as the gospel was proclaimed and so pure and so evident to him, that he continued in that faithfulness and boldness to share the gospel in the midst of suffering. We've been reading about this in First Peter with the suffering and, and understanding that there are those around us um, that are suffering and we are m maybe suffering, but that we can have hope and that we can share that hope with other believers and with this world. And the greatest way that we do that is with sharing our lives as we share the gospel, that we um, spend time with those around us, with, with neighbors, with those in our community and in our workplace and in our schools. And then we do that here uh, as Paul was talking about. And the second word that comes to mind is gentleness. Uh, th this uh, imagery that, that is given to us um, as he was talking about how fond they are. And in verse 7 it says, But we prove to be gentle among you as a nursing mother tenderly cares for her own children. This is a new church, many new believers. And, they, and, and Paul is saying how gentle they were as they walked through the gospel and the truth of the gospel. 
which can be very offensive, right? And so that much more reason for us to be gentle, um, not just with this world, but with other believers in Christ, especially new believers, that we should be faithful to the word of God, to the gospel of God, and, 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 and gentle as we uh, speak and as we teach and as we love one another. And we see that evident here in the ministry of Paul. And I want to encourage you, as this is encouragement to me, is that um, for us to continue to be faithful and then also to be gentle with one another. Now, it doesn't mean that we cannot be bold. You know, there's a difference between um, being gentle and being timid. There's a difference there. And so we can still be bold in our, in our walk and in our speech, but that we season it with grace and with love and with kindness and gentleness. And so uh, to not be offensive uh, in the way that we uh, share God's truth with one another. And so uh, this has been an encouragement to me, and I hope it is to you as we continue to walk through these scriptures. The reason we are walking through them together is not to just be a consumer, but like Paul said, um, that we share. We share our lives. We share the gospel. We share truth with one another. So as we dig into the word, let's continue to share that with both the body of Christ and also with those um, outside of the body. And let's do that with gentleness and with love. God bless.